Good day, my loves. Good day, my loves. It is June 30th. Absolutely seven days before my birthday. Before my born day. And so today, I want to give you a tip on self-love. And for us empaths out there, for us people who are compassionate, and truly live authentically through our heart space. And I know people have given you grief about it. Some people may have called you dumb, stupid, naive, gullible, push over, you know. But when you work from your heart space, you are working from the purest space that you could ever, you know, operate from. You're not operating from your mind, your thoughts. You're operating from your heart. That's the purest part. Okay, so never, 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 never feel bad about that. You may have people that make you or try to make you feel bad by using your kindness for weakness, by taking advantage of your kindness, by taking advantage of your good heart. You know, those people were just lessons for you on this path of self-discovery, okay? That's how you have to look at it, okay? So never feel bad about your heart. Never feel bad about actually loving someone. In this world, there are people out here that will make you feel like you shouldn't love nobody because... They squandered it. They manipulated you. Whatever the case may have been. Whatever your story is. Please know that spiritual warfare is exactly that. They want you to flip sides. They want you to be angry. They want you to be sad. They want you to be depressed. They want you to be alone. They want you to feel all these things. But we know that we are not none of those things, okay? When you work for God, you work for the light. And you're always protected. And you're never alone, okay? That's one of the lessons that I had to learn. Because my whole life I felt ostracized. I felt alone. I felt like the oddball. I felt like, you know, the weird one, you know. And, and, and rightfully so. I accept that. But they tried to make me feel as if it was a negative thing that I didn't fit in, that I was opinionated, that I was passionate, that I loved completely, okay? So the best way to combat that is to be truly, authentically you, your loving, purposeful self. Never stop being who you are. Just use discernment. Now that we know what things are, and now that we see things as they are and not as we want them to be, we can navigate this world a lot more efficiently. Meaning, now you know the types of people you do not want to be around. Now you know the types of warning signs, red flags. And now you know not to go against your intuition that is spirituality one on one trusting yourself not not trusting yourself to be manipulated but trusting that when you see those red flags because your path has been one that was very arduous that was very uh, difficult you know better now Trust and believe that. Trust yourself. Yeah, we didn't know better. And I'm putting myself in there because I need you to understand that I, I traveled that road too. But now, we know better. We see better. We hear better. Okay? So I know they fucked you over. Excuse my French. I know they messed you over. I know they did. I know they did. You don't even have to tell me everything that they did, baby girl, baby boy. But I know what they did. I do. And it hurt your heart to the core. But that's because we were looking for things 
in the wrong places. Whether that have been your family, your spouse, your children, still, you were still looking in the wrong place because we should have gone to the source first. If I'd have known that the source always talks back, I would have been here a lot sooner, but it wasn't meant for me because I had a coven to, you know, uncover. I didn't know. Yeah, I know. You don't believe it, but it's true. Witches and warlocks, they do exist. And not as the TV, the tell I, that tells lies to you. Not as they would want you to believe. But they exist. Magic does exist. God does exist. Evil does exist. And spiritual warfare is more on your mindset and not your physical being. A lot of us, you know, we was ready for the war physically. You know, everybody getting their guns and stuff like that. But it's not. Not saying you won't have to defend yourself. But it starts here first. Solidify your thoughts in God, okay? In the positive energy. Yeah, you're going to have them thoughts because they're still trying to attack you. But recognize that those thoughts are not yours. They are not yours. They are not yours. They are not yours. They are not yours. Why would you be telling yourself negative stuff about yourself? Why? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about that? Why would you tell yourself that you fat and ugly? Now, if those thoughts are coming in your head, baby, you've heard that from somewhere. You're just regurgitating. You're reiterating what you heard about yourself. And nine times out of ten, it is from when you was a child. And subconsciously, you swallow that. And subconsciously, when you're feeling down, those thoughts repeat those voices repeat in your head but you can change that recording you just have to reparent yourself so like one of the things that I do is when I hear one of those negative voices like my thing has always been abandonment you know I, I love being alone but I didn't realize how much I felt alone I love being alone I love my alone time I love spending time by myself always has as a kid as a teenager as an adult that that's me but when you have those thoughts in your head telling you that no one will love you, okay, that you are unlovable, that there's no one out here for you, just because of the people that you have surrounding you now do not know how to love you. There's billions and billions of people on this planet. One of them knows how to love you. One of them knows your love language. A lot of them know your love language. It's just a matter of you guys finding each other and so as you are on this spiritual journey of self because that's what your spiritual journey is it ain't got shit to do with nobody else okay it ain't got nothing to do with nobody else it got everything to do with you and how you perceive this world and how you perceive yourself and how you perceive everybody that is around you so you have to change your thoughts in order to change your circumstances. It's not going to work with you changing your circumstances. Because your thoughts follow you wherever you go. You can't run from yourself. So it doesn't matter if you switch locations. You're still going to have that same thought. So you got to change it. So when I get those thoughts to tell me. Because the people around me don't know how to love me. I'm like. I don't need them to love me. Because I love myself and I know God loves me. God shows me he loves me every day. Every day, every day. Say it again. Every day, every day. The fact that I can get up and tell my story and still smile. Baby, do you not understand who I am? <laughs> yeah, you finna know. You finna know. Hey, my loves. I'm sending you a positive message today to get on up there and get out. Okay? Get on up and get out. Get out of that circumstance. Get out of that habitual habit that is not serving you anymore. Get out of all of that. As I minister to you, I minister to myself. Listen, each one teach one. Each one reach one. If I can help just anybody circumvent, get past all this crap that I had to go through, 
just by giving you the knowledge, just by sharing my story. Listen, because what I went through, I would not wish on my worst enemy. I really wouldn't. Having people kill you, having people throwing dirt on you. Man, listen, literally trying to kill me. That is crazy. Because I just found that out like within this past two years because I had no clue. I had no clue. But now that I know, I'm suited and booted. I'm armored up. And I don't own a gun. Not saying that I won't. But I am suited and booted in my head space, in my heart space, in my spirit, in my soul. Listen, I got the full armor. But it starts with my thoughts first. It starts with my thoughts first. I was doing it backwards. I was. Throw your legs on the side of the bed. Plant your feet firmly on the ground, on the floor, on your carpet, whatever you got. Stand up. Throw your head back. Throw your arms up and give yourself a good morning stretch. Good evening stretch. Good afternoon stretch. Whatever part of the world you're in. Shit, you may have slept all day. That's okay, though. Your body needed it. But don't stay in that head space. If you're depressed, get up. Shake it off. Dance. Cook your favorite meal. Go buy a pretty dress. I love retail therapy, but it never solves everything. The goal is not to ignore the problem by making yourself feel good, which is what we do. That's why we accumulate a lot of things. Okay? I'm not saying that. But to jolt yourself up out of whatever you are going through, do something different. Do something you enjoy doing. I ain't say do it in excess. I'm just saying do something different. And I woke up hungry today. I woke up starving today, actually. So I'm finna go in here and make me, well, finish making my food. I love you guys. Sending you peace, love, and blessings. Clarity of mind. Okay. Namaste. Ashe. I don't think I should have had that on that high, but you know what? We live and we learn. Mazel tov. I'll see you guys later, okay? Enjoy this day. No matter what it brings. If it brings tears. See where the tears are coming from. They may have just been cleansing tears. Let those emotions come up and come out. No matter what they are, okay? Today is a day to be celebrated. Celebrate yourself. You don't need nobody to celebrate you. They ain't been celebrating you. Why, why you think they're going to celebrate you now? Stop looking for support from people that you, you've supported. Because it's not going to come from them. You are the teacher. You are the master. Most of the students don't care for that okay get on up get out thank god and keep it moving kim you hear me kim that's keep it moving hey kim <laughs> come on girl come on kim even if you're a boy you're a kim too keep it moving keep it moving i know i don't talk too much about the fellas plates over here i will but right now, I got to get the ladies together, okay? I got a message for everybody. Man, woman, child, girl, boy. Yeah. Confused ones, too. Yeah, I got a message for everybody. God don't discriminate. He talk to everybody. But we got to get the ladies together first because we've been holding it down. But we've been... Getting a lot of things confused, especially if you was raised on survival and not love. Come on, ladies, we got this. I'm gonna do a whole episode about that. I may do one today. The difference between being raised on love and survival. There is a very big difference. And if you are in a if your spirit how can I say this? If you are 
a female, if you were born a, a woman, and you were raised essentially by a one-parent household, normally your mom, or if there was a man in the house, but he was operating out of his feminine energy, it's almost like you having two moms. Stay with me here. The nine times out of ten, my love, you was raised on survival because your mama had to play both roles. She was both the male and the female. If you fit that category, my love, this channel is for you. We got work to do. We got work to do. And it's okay. But... The more you focus on healing your heart space and getting out your mind, the easier this will be. Love you guys.